Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Virgo. This is some type of attack, though, because you, a lot of people only look at the outwardly and they don't look inwardly. And of course, most men, they, they're trained to see things with their eyes and they don't always see things with their spiritual eyes, even the ones who are pretty spiritual, right? You can notice that if you meet a person, and I see this happen a lot, you can meet a person during like a, they could be with somebody else, but maybe they're separated. You know how a lot of people do the back and forth. They will encounter a real divine feminine or masculine they still may not deal with you because they're not ready or you're too spiritually powerful or whatever the case may be. You're intimidating. So they will go and deal with somebody else. But I'm telling you, the other person will literally become you. Have y'all experienced that? I mean, if you ever see this person on social media, you, you don't have to know them from anybody. But all of a sudden, they walk like you. They talk like you. They dress like you. Their house is decorated like yours. They cook like you. They do everything like you. And I can see how it can be very confusing to a masculine because not only does this, this energy, with, I, to me, it has to be some type of entity, okay? Because and remember, I talked about the nine-tailed fox the other day. It's a very, very, it's a it's a demon, okay? But it's a very, it's, it's, it can it oh my god this is blowing my mind it looks very beautiful as a woman but once it gets the man it unleashes that demonic energy it's a it's a man eating demon but it's masked as a very beautiful young vibrant woman these masculines they they will go to this person that looks, sometimes, you know, to be honest, maybe they pick that person because they feel like the person looks better than you. You know, they make more money than you or whatever the case is. A lot of people don't realize that the devil comes dressed up to you, I mean, very beautifully. And they don't recognize, they think that, oh, that person is better than you. But in actuality, the person is overcompensating so much because they're, they're trying to literally copy your spirit. But I'm, I'm just trying to figure out, like, is this energy harvesting? I don't know what type of magic, what type of swapping this is. I know that it has to be very intense, especially if there is a soul tie between you and someone, especially if, you know, there has been some type of sexual energy exchange. But, you know, nowadays, if you have photos of yourself and you shared a photo with someone or whatever the case is, you need to be very careful who's getting their hands on your photos, your information, or whatever, because I don't know if magic is just the go-to now, but this has to be something very like demonic. It has to be witchcraft or something, because I've seen it happen so many times where it's like, you meet a person, you cross paths, they're captivated by you. They leave. They go to someone else or back to a person, and that person becomes you. And I'm I'm seeing it because the way I saw it in my vision. If you I'm spiritual, if you scroll down on this person's timeline on social media, let's say, you know that prior to you being in the picture, that person was nothing like that. All of a sudden, now everything they do is just like you. It's like they become you. I don't know if these people, if this is an energy that's trying to swap destinies and the downloads that I've been getting, like they've, they've lasted for days. Like I keep getting pieces of it. Like that nine tail fox that I talked about. It looks like in, in human form, it's a very beautiful woman. It's a nine tail fox that eats the heart and the liver of men. And it has to sacrifice so many men until it be can become Human, it's like, it's a curse. This is like a cursed woman. And you have to be careful because, especially if you are connecting with that masculine, and it could be your masculine, if they are connected to that person, you need to immediately try to cut some type of cords, okay? You you can't necessarily cut cords to like a, a twin flame, I guess, but... You need to cut the energetic cords that you have got, especially, like I said, for those, if you slept with a person, you need to immediately, like right now, something is happening 
collectively, energetically, where endings are taking place. But I don't know if this is like a full moon thing going on right now or a ritual. I know what some people will say it's been happening to you, but this download, I mean, it just like knocked me off my feet almost. And I was like, what the heck is this? But the archetype of these women, it has to be like a a prostitute like archetype because yeah, look at this. Wounded child and thief. These are these are people who they steal. They steal your money, your creative ideas, they steal everything from you. Everything that they lack, they steal it from you. And it's it's very difficult for me to tell if it's the masculine that's doing it. Or if it's the, the other person, we're going to just say for the sake of discussion, the karmic person doing it, or if it's both of them. It's really, really weird because look here, you have goddess. See, this is the thing. You have goddess and then you have the wounded child. So I don't know in certain situations if this is a, like a karmic masculine who sees you as a goddess, but because they can't bring themselves to be with you, they would rather, because they're a wounded child, they would rather go and be with someone who is a soulless being like them that's just a dressed up devil or demon. I don't know. But it's just this copycat energy. It's an, look, vampire and goddess. I'm telling you, so this is somebody or something vamping off of a person's energy. And it, this to me, it feels so urgent because I'm telling you, it's like somebody is trying to suck the life out of a lot of divine feminists and masculine. Somebody is depleting you of your life force energy somebody it's like trying their hardest to be you like this has to be something happening right now it's a con artist like energy and it's an attack on the divine feminine i don't know like i said if it's coming from i don't know it, it has to just be coming from um like a distorted masculine or a distorted feminine aka karmics i don't know but like gossip is here you see how this car is? Somebody, I don't know if someone has an entity that's telling them to do certain things, which that has been coming up a lot lately. These demonic attachments or possession, like mind control, I don't know what the oh, domination spells, perhaps. Like these karmics are, you know what? This is so sick. But what Spirit is showing me, you have karmic women who are putting domination spells on masculines. They're making the masculine go to divine feminines or masculines to do certain things to collect energy so that they can become the goddess. But these masculines and feminines don't recognize that sometimes, you know, because of how they look. They look, they look like everything is together. They look like they are divine. They're copying. They look divine and they're not. They only look divine because they're stealing. Look, it says here, gossip thrives on the power of passing on private or secret information, betraying confidences. Yeah, th this is some type of entity that's collecting information about like a divine feminine and it's taking it back to a karmic or th this is that entity attachment that I'm talking about. I feel like a lot of people, if you hear this message, you need to quickly cleanse clear purify your energy do a cord cutting bath or something because there is a thief out here somebody is vamping off of somebody's energy and once again cutting the day the goddess is here it says exploitation of the female nature and form the light attribute of the goddess though is the feminine expressed through wisdom nature life force and sensuality this is someone trying to copy your energy and I'll, I'll be honest, until they are caught, they do a really good job of doing it. You're a magical child. You were born with certain gifts, talents, abilities. We all are. But you have a sacred type of beauty. Your essence, it speaks for itself. But this is someone who does not have that and is doing everything in its power to try to convince everyone else that they are divine. And so they are attaching these entities and such to different people in order to be able to, I guess, become that person. It's a copycat energy. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, it just, I'm telling y'all, this hit me. I was like, what? <laughs> 
don't know. And in this time, you guys, like this is why I've been saying all week, be very mindful of what you are taking in, what you are listening to, where you're going, what you're doing. Because these entities are using so many different people around you to try to collect information, okay? I feel like that's the reason why a lot of people right now are being called to kind of be in hermit mode, maybe even in isolation, because it's a very, like, trickster type of energy that is lurking around in the collective right now. Um, yeah, this is some type of entity. Everything is fine. But what I'm getting from this is also, yeah, everything is fine with the sun. Everything is fine as long as you are aware. You are wish fulfillment. You are very, you know, very beautiful. And I'm not talking about outward. I mean, just like I said, your essence is pure. It's beautiful. Look at, she's dressed in a what? This is someone here who you've always been pure. You've always been divine. This is an adult in a white dress. This is a child in a white dress you it, it has been as part of this white horse it was always your journey to become someone who was very blessed abundant beautiful and you did this by being pure not by selling your soul that's why everything for you was always okay and someone doesn't really understand that someone here is broken hearted by your success and the fact that you have victory rewards and recognition you're rewarded and recognized for being pure at heart yeah, you've had heartbreaks. Yeah, you've had conflict. But this is a lot of competition and jealousy. And I, it's something in the collective right now that is very, very heavy. The point I was trying to make before, though, is continue to love yourself. Some of you right now, you need to be careful of your thoughts, I'm hearing, because you may start to feel almost like you need to compare yourself or compete with other people. That's a trick of the enemy right now. Because... For one, there's a lot of things being projected to you. So you may feel watched or monitored in a way. And it may cause you to want to go and figure out like where exactly is this coming from? God is like, you're in a bubble, so stay in your bubble. Like people are trying to look at you in the bubble. They can't, like what they see is, is pretty much like distorted. They can't really see you. But if you get too close to the bubble to look out, they're going to be able to see you. So don't don't go looking for it. Just don't. This is a strong message because I've been saying this for since I came back. All week, do not go looking for anything. Okay, if you if you're looking at somebody's social media or something like that, don't do it because it's almost like these energies, these entities, they are doing things to lure you in to get in your mind. It needs your energy. If if it can see you look into a situation. Think about it or whatever. It can then program you on something. But this is a huge, huge demonic type of attack. Cleanse, clean your house, cleanse your body. Be mindful of what you eat, what you drink, and especially what you think about. Because this is serious. This, 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 this entity is is smart. I mean, it always is like entities watch you. They monitor everything that you do. Yeah. The Seven of Pentacles with the Six of Swords and the Page of Wands. Everything is fine here. You're moving on to peaceful, calmer waters. It's very important for you, though, the Page of Wands, is to continue planning, continue taking action. Don't just plan, but continue taking action. You may at times start feeling like you're losing hope, like you haven't gotten what you want out of a situation. That also is a trick. The trick of the enemy wants you to feel like you've missed out on an opportunity or, yeah, like you... Like you're just not going to have something. Y'all, I'm telling you, please, please do not allow this to get the best of you. I don't care what a situation looks like right now. This is an attack. This is somebody doing mind control, domination spells, and they're doing it on someone that you are attached to. And they're trying to control your mind too. But this is a copycat energy. This is an energy that wants to take your place. It wants to be you. And these and these entities or whatever they know that like the time we're about to have an eclipse. This is about to be cut out. So how, whatever or whoever has been trying to use your energy and vamp off of it for so long, trying to get some type of favorable outcome, it's not going to work anymore. It's not going to work. It's just not like your your energy. Like I said, the purity of who you of your essence, it's not going to allow this. These people, it does not matter what they look like. And I'm telling you, some of these people, they look very much well put together, just like you do. And I'll be honest, 
according to society, societal standards, some will say they look better than you. But you cannot copy somebody's spirit or their soul. You can. And that's what these people don't understand. The devil has convinced these people that they can be you. That they can clone you and be you. Again, I don't know for some of you guys if this is like a karmic masculine who's taking your energy and, and giving it to a karmic feminine trying to make them be you because they just don't want to do the work to be with you. Or if this is for some a masculine who is just completely oblivious to what is happening and is being controlled and manipulated by a karmic to pretty much get your energy so that she can become you and he will choose her. I don't know what it is. Guys, in this situation, protect yourself. Time is the only thing that's going to reveal the truth in this. It does not matter how much you dig or look into this situation. You need to avoid doing that because if you do it, it's going to just take your energy. And this entity is using your energy right now. Knight of Cups with the sun. Yeah, you need to make the decision to keep moving forward. Just keep moving forward. Keep an open heart. Be forgiving. Okay. The two of wands is here with the nine of wands. So this is saying you're wounded. You're tired. You're weak. You're, you're feeling weary at times, but do not give up. Continue to be very persistent and resilient and moving forward because you are the divine feminine. You're the true divine feminine. You're moving on your journey here. You're moving away from the past. Look at this. And you're healing. This is your awakening, but you're needing to come into this awakening or this awareness. And I feel that for some of you, there's a masculine who really does care about you most likely, or there's a new masculine that's coming in. This could be a new love. If it's not new love, there's a masculine who does care about you, but they've been in some type of way convinced to not deal with you or you're under something where you look at this here it is right here oh my god look let me show you four of cups okay the four of swords and the magician somebody is under dark magic somebody is doing moon magic now what's today the fifth yeah three days before the full moon somebody is doing moon magic right now to put somebody down somebody is doing breakup and separation spells to put somebody down they want you to feel like you don't want this person or they want a masculine to feel like they don't want you. Someone is, is doing, I don't know what kind of spell that is, glamour or whatever. Yeah, you got a dark high priestess out here that's doing binding spells. She's doing binding spells. She's trying to blind a person from seeing you. This is a wicked, whew, ace of pentacles. Somebody knows that there is an offer coming towards you. And they are trying to do every type of spell that they possibly can to bind you so that you can't see something, so that you won't take action, so that you're going to be stuck. Somebody is also here, I'm getting trying to, with the, the moon, I think of illusions and inner child. Somebody is trying to, especially with the sun being here, they may be sending some type of attack also to make you think of something that could make you feel insecure. They're trying to get your energy levels down so that they can attack you. This is like something major going on in the background. Somebody is, look at this. Look, here you, here you have it. The Queen of Wands, the Emperor, and the Hierophant. Now, I just said, we just saw the King of Wands out here with the Ace of Cups, right? Somebody here knows that this King of Wands is making an offer. They want to be the one that is chosen. That's what this is. Somebody here is going to force a, a passionate new beginning with somebody. And I feel like a lot of you are sitting around and you don't even know that this is going on. You have no idea. You don't know that this is happening for some of you. Or you do, but you don't know the severity of it. Somebody here, you're the nine of cups. The queen of wands usually can, can represent. There's nothing wrong with the queen of wands. The queen of wands is a very powerful manifester. But the Queen of Wands can sometimes in a lower vibration for sure represent like a witch. You have someone out here who I feel is truly attacking a masculine. And this is a true divine masculine. The Emperor and the Hierophant, this is not a distorted man. This is a masculine who I feel has been broken down and beaten spiritually by magic. Now... It's easy for me to say, well, why did you get yourself in that position? But even me or any of us, you don't know what you don't know. With the, the type of spell, anybody can, can be a victim of spell work. It has happened to me. I'm sure it's happened to everybody. 
you don't know. And, and it's not about you not having spiritual hygiene. You don't know what you don't know. You have a lot of people out here, masculines especially, they don't know anything about black magic. So therefore, they're not doing anything to protect themselves from it. And that's what I feel here. I feel like there is a very divine masculine out here who is being taken advantage of. He does not know that he's dealing with a witch. He doesn't know that he's dealing with a nine-tailed fox, a man-eater. He doesn't know that. He thinks that this person is very divine. They, He's come across you at some point and seen you be divine. This other person is doing what you do and probably trying to do it better for the look of it. But this person is wicked. This person is demonic. Oh my goodness. This person wants to be chosen because see, the thing is, is that we're closing out the karmic cycle. Everything is being balanced out right now here in this year, right now in Scorpio. This is a, a death to all things karmic. These karmic energies are going so hard right now to ensure that they are on their next cycle. This next cycle that's starting, this is whatever you are manifesting and moving into right now is what you can look forward to for at least the next decade. Karmic cycles usually last around seven to eight years. We're starting a brand new cycle. These karmics are like, no, you are not going to go into another timeline. No, they want to make sure that they are on this this cycle with this person. Some of these masculines, they're too far gone. They've already chosen this person. But regardless of if this person, for some of you, if this is a masculine, especially if it's your masculine, it doesn't matter if they choose you or not. What I want you to pay the most attention to right now is cleansing and purifying your energy in your space so that they cannot use your energy. And I had a reading about this a few days ago. These people are using your energy right now to do magic. They're using your energy to astral project and do everything else that they're doing. That's really sick, but that's what they're doing. This is some type of destiny swapping, energy harvesting type of magic that's going on. And from what I'm getting in this reading, there's a masculine here who does not know. There's a masculine out here who could be, honestly, this could be a really religious masculine. He could be very religious in the type that's, you know, you know, a lot of people, religious people will say, and I'm not saying like that I'm, I'm, not religious or like, I don't believe it. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying some people who do not have a closer, <laughs> their own personal relationship with God and they're just very strictly religious. They will say, some people say witchcraft doesn't exist. Oh, they can't hurt me. You know, God got me. Okay. Witchcraft does exist. And if you don't know to protect yourself, you will be a victim of it. I didn't know to protect myself a long time ago either. And I was constantly being attacked. I get attacked a lot now too. But if you don't know that, oh, maybe you need to pray, you need to say certain prayers, or you need to take a spiritual bath, or whatever the, whatever you choose to do, you will be a victim. Some people are walking around under spells and trances, and they don't know. I'm getting for some of you, if you were dealing with someone, and especially if you felt like that person was your masculine or your feminine and all of a sudden they just switched up, it's because they're under magic by a very, very wicked karmic person. This karmic has this person in a, to in a trance. And while they're in this trance, the karmic is trying to become you because if this is a dark priestess, this karmic knows who you are and they know that they can never be you. And they could actually have help or be paying somebody. This is some really, really, really heavy black magic that's being done. The tower. Look. The tower. See, whatever this person is doing, y'all, it's going to blow up. The hermit. However this person is stalking you, watching you, that's what I, and that's the reason why spirit is saying, clean your energy up now. Take your spiritual bath. Cleanse your home. Smudge your home. Do whatever you need to do. Pray fast, something. This person is watching and monitoring this two of cups situation and blocking it. Wow. Look, blocking this, they're blocking this earth angel from making an offer to you. They want this person to juggle because they want the, they want the offer. 
Some of you, I'm telling you, you're dealing with someone who really could be divine. Look at this. This person wants to connect with you. They want the Ten of Cups with you. And you have someone that has been watching this person plan to come towards you. Somebody has been watching and planning to come towards you. They're really considering. Like, I, I probably should go to the divine. This is someone who probably left you behind. Chose somebody else. But I feel like they went back towards somebody else because they were under spell work. Somebody is doing come to me um, mind control domination spells or something. Like, forcing this, like, playing with this person's psyche to make them think, what do people call, you, you hear it. You, you would know if you see those weird people on WhatsApp and everything, you know, I'll, I'll bring my ex back, all them stupid spells that they do. Somebody here has been doing that and it's working because this masculine doesn't know to protect themselves. Some of you may have to even stand in the gap and, and say a prayer for this masculine or something because they're at a crossroads and don't know what to do. But whatever it is here, oh, wow, look at how beautiful. Something is destined to be. The will of fortune, the justice, and the lovers. That's what I'm saying. You don't have to do much. Just pray and, and, and protect yourself and say a prayer for this person. But somebody, it's almost like I'm hearing when the, when the clock strikes 12. Whatever somebody here is doing, it's going to backfire. This person is really waiting to receive communication that they got the offer. This person is, I'm telling you, somebody is counting down like, yeah, I'm the one that's going to get this this twin flame soulmate contract. It's coming to me. This person, she's sitting back waiting. It's coming to me. She's holding on to this person. She's creating strongholds for this person because she doesn't want this person to have the Ten of Pentacles with somebody else. This is somebody here who, you look, look at this. Look at her. Look. The devil, this, you, this person is, the devil, the devil in a dress. Do you hear me? And I mean, she will do anything to move forward with this masculine. Anything. Capricorn, Cancer. Ooh, heavy, heavy water energy. Cap um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, heavy Cancer energy. This person is the devil. This person could lie about how they make money. Some type of stability or security. This person is lying I feel like this is the kind of person who, yeah, look, I feel like this person is in some type of trouble with their money. They're making it look like they are <laughs> young, rich, and, and fabulous, and they're not. This person is getting things off of your, I bet this person is, is vamping off of your energy to appear successful. This is someone, especially if you have a platform, this person is watching you. But this masculine, for some of you, this person is gonna wake up. I guarantee you, if you if you break, cut these cords or whatever you are gonna do, this person is going to wake up over in the night. Cause I keep hearing when the strike twice, when the clock strikes twelve, and this person is gonna know. Oh, seriously, all hell just broke loose. The energy is about to shift in such a way, though, that, yeah, King of Swords, this man is about to cut this lady out because he knows you're not my person. Somebody is about to wake up out of some spell work. Look at this. Somebody is, and, and if this person is living with this person or something like that, that's all about to be over. Somebody has literally, like, summoned somebody in. Oh, my goodness. Like, seriously. This masculine is in deep, deep, like this person is in a trance and does not know. And I mean, the masculines, they kind of have to take care of themselves. But for my divine feminines, this is dangerous because for some of you, you could be missing out on things right now in your life and not really understanding why. It's because in the background, you have somebody stealing all of your energy. Four of swords, five of swords, I'm telling you, some of you, these two people were at odds with each other. They were at odds with each other. And this woman, she did some type of, and it could be a man for some, but I'm picking up strongly, a karmic woman. She did something to bring this man back to her. She wanted to somehow establish more peace in this relationship and have healing. So she she resorted to spell work. And she figured that she would 
This woman wants a marriage or a commitment from this man, but to get that, she knows that this man wants to be married and committed to somebody else, so she's going to try to become that person. This is somebody who is completely psycho. Look, I just said she wants marriage, the Hierophant. She, this is somebody here who's giving a masculine ultimatums. Don't you think it's time for us to live together? Don't you think it's time for, for us to be engaged? I want to be married. Like she's trying to twist this person's arm into doing something. And I feel like this man was not doing it. Look at her, karmic. It's all about how it looks. I'm telling you, if you know who this person is, go on their Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. I guarantee you all they talk about right now is outwardly things and they and superficial and trying to be like you but this person is also from time to time trying to play holier than thou this person is confused no this person is this this person knows this person knows that something is over look r.i.p they know that that they cannot get this mask and they're doing everything now to try to get this man's attention even if that means them becoming you because this man is just like listen i don't want this just leave, go. Look at how she's looking like. Okay, and eventually she's gonna have to give up because I feel like divine intervention is coming in. This is a divine master who actually wants marriage and a commitment, but he knows he does not want it with this karmic. He sees that this karmic is a karmic, but y'all, it's a cancer somewhere who is wicked. Do you hear me? She is wicked. The star. This man already knows who he wants to be committed to. The Hierophant and the Star, he's going towards something that is divinely guided. Eight of Wands, he's ready to move forward. This person could be at a distance. Oh my goodness, like this lady is crazy. She's like, I'm just going to become that person. Because she's desperate. She wants to work with this man so bad. Maybe they do work together. So what I'm whispering, these people work together. And this woman is, I don't know what the deal is with, because I don't feel, it doesn't seem like, and I don't care anything about how people look. Um, this is not like somebody who is bad looking or broke. She ain't, she's not busted and disgusted. That's not the case. But I feel like her and this masculine have built something and whatever the facade is, she's holding on to it for dear life. I don't know if these people have a business together. They, like, yeah, they've planted some kind of seed together. And her image and everything depends on her being with this masculine. Yeah, Ace of Cups. These people may have thought, have talked about being married. He, this person could have proposed to this woman or thought about it. But what I'm also getting in these cards is that this woman, when things got to be too much, she did some type of spell work to make this man come back to her. She did a love spell, Ace of Cups, to make this man come back to her. And it looks like, oh, he's trying to beg her to come back. No, she's doing work in the background to make him come back because he doesn't want to be with her. He already called judgment on this situation. So she did something to reverse that. Oh my God. That is just so pathetic to me. Will of Fortune. What did I just say? Will of Fortune and the Seven of Wands. When this man was moving forward, she wanted to block his progress. Seven of Swords. She's wicked. Y'all, I can't. And the Magician. Seven of Swords, the Magician, and the Seven of Wands. This is spell work to end a situation. Death, I cannot make this up. Temperance. And the Four of Wands, this is a spiritual union. Someone is doing spell work to break up a spiritual union. This is a third party who is creating burdens so that someone cannot, the Fool card, Ace of Wands, lovers, take a leap of faith to go and choose to be with the person that they want to spend the rest of their life with. Wow. The Hermit, Nine of Wands. These people cannot stand each other. The hermit, nine of wands, these people are in the house. They cannot stand each other. They don't talk to each other hardly. There's no intimacy. This man is probably around this woman and he's probably texting you or somebody else. Justice. I don't know if they're married or, you know, if they have some, some commitments or contracts together that, you know, legally 
they may have to divvy up some assets or something like that. I don't know. But this man has already gone through an awakening and he's like, I don't want to be here. This queen of cups yet again, and she's the devil. Y'all, it's a cancer out here who is the devil. She is the devil. She's wicked. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This person has water heavily aspected in their chart, which makes sense. Could because she's very intuitive, but she's a dark high priest. She's a dark high priest. She's a dark empath. She's very into and she sits up all day and all night trying to figure out how exactly can she destroy this man's spiritual contract with this divine feminine. And this could be because this man wants to divorce her if they are married. This man has already turned his back. He's like, I'm done. I'm through. I'm out. She has. I feel like this is a situation for someone where somebody even moved out of the house. She did. This woman, she literally, she tried to become divine feminine. And she did spell work to get this man back in the house with her. King of Wands. This man could be very attractive. He's passionate. And look at what she did. She started looking. She started looking. She's she's in the house. She's walking around the living room. She's saying that this man is, is looking at another woman. And she's very jealous and envious. So what she has done is tapped into all of his devices. She's found out exactly who you are, what you like. She's gone through his photos to see, you know, what y'all have done together. And a lot of you, I'm telling you, I really don't feel like you have done much with this masculine, but he could be your divine masculine. I'm not getting like inappropriate energy. And I feel like that is the reason why she's so pressed about this. You know, you, you have to know that if you're not out here doing the absolute most with somebody, she doesn't understand why this man is so passionate about you. Because if she's going through pictures or whatever, she's not finding anything trashy. So she's like, how, how did you win his heart? Why is it that he wants to be with you? And whatever these two people have built together, this karmic is like, I don't understand what about you will make him leave everything that he has with me or the potential of what he could have with me behind. Like I told you guys, do not go out here thinking that just because someone is karmic, that that means that they're broke, busted, and disgusted. This is somebody here who very well could be doing very well for themselves financially, and in all areas of their life. But this is a very jealous, envious, demonic type of person. This person has been overcome with jealousy, envy, pride. It's very super superficial. But this person, this masculine, is going to be rushing towards their true counterpart for equal give and take. You're just going to have to be strong in this time while your, your spirit guides take you on to peaceful, calm waters. Yeah, something here is faded. It's destined. That's the star. Eight of Wands. This is moving forward. Yeah, but Seven of Cups, someone is confused right now. But however you and this person met, it was faded. And it's leading to the Ten of Cups. And who is this? Yeah, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. This, These two people are not a match. This is someone here who wants to have a family. And they got with someone who was superficial, karmic. She's trying to look like she wants to act as though she's the queen of pentacles now. Like she's this person's match. She wants to act like, oh yeah, I want to be, I want to be a family. This man already met his divine counterpart. And I do feel like some of you, either you met this person or this could happen in the future. These two people were separated or going through a rough patch or something like that. You just randomly met this person. You could have met this person, hung out with them a few times and went on about your business, but this is your actual counterpart. This person could have met you and decided, I don't want to be with this queen of wands anymore because I've met my match. And this woman has been doing everything because she's psycho. She needs to be locked up. She's crazy. She's trying to, she wants to keep this man. She wants this man to be in, I'm hearing in her family. So like I said, I don't know if these people have like a family business or something like that. Look there, king of cups, queen of cups, nine of cups. This man already knows that he wants a passionate new beginning with someone that he's emotionally drawn to. He knows that it is the, the love and the emotions, the essence, the beauty of a feminine that he wants to move forward with. He does not want this queen of wands. Yeah. This person here, she's she's been something else since she was a child. Cold, detached, mean. She wants to win by any means necessary. Eight of Cups. This man telling her, you need to go. 
She don't have no trust. Spirit is saying you have to leave. I mean, this this woman is a demon, y'all. I'm not joking. Like, oh my goodness, this is disgusting. It is disgusting. It is truly just pathetic. Because it's like this is someone who has the potential to, to be amazing. She This person has the potential to really be a divine feminine. But instead, she's choosing literally to try to be somebody else. I feel like this person, whatever information she's learned about you, and this person knows a lot about you. For some of you, I'm getting that this is even someone who may um, make really good money. This person could have hired like a private investigator to watch you, or this person has a best friend that they go out and party with all the time. Somebody is watching you, tracking you, and giving this person information about you. And this person literally... I keep seeing right now, this person has gone through this man's phone. And I don't know, I just 44, 44 on the clock. You are protected. This person has gone through this man's phone or this man has had a conversation with his best friend. I'm hearing that this man had a conversation with a best friend and he could have even been slightly under the influence and he could have said something about you. I don't know if she overheard it, but there's been some wires crossed. There's some information that has, has gotten out about you. And the divine feminine, if you notice in the reading, you're not out here. I don't think you know that this is going on. You may notice it. I don't know, like something is off. You may not know this person, but the, somebody knows you very well. And they are watching you. They're monitoring you. you they're stalking you. This person could have hired a private investigator. This person is using magic. This person is using monitoring spirit. This is someone who is very, very, very obsessive. I mean, extremely. And I feel like this is a very, I feel like this person that I'm picking up on is very successful. This person is extremely controlling. They do not accept a loss. So this person is like, no, I will not lose this relationship. Because if, I, don't, I don't know, this person, like, if they lose a relationship, they lose the facade, they, they lose possibly, because these people could work together or something, but this person does not want some type of shift to happen in their life, so they've gone through to the extremes, like this person is, y'all, this is next level, and I've talked about, I've had this before. The obsessed lover of, of a lover. This is like a real fatal attraction. This lady is crazy. I feel, I, I'm really telling you, some of you, this person has truly like went so far as to hire someone to watch you seventh house. This, this involves partnerships, marriage, business matters, could be enemies depending on the situation. This is that if I can't have you, nobody can have you. It's a thin line between love and hate. And this lady has crossed over now to hatred. Fourth house, one sense of security, family, sibling. This is all about a look. This person is, yeah, it's a toxic connection. But this person wants to look like they're madly in love. This is like an arranged marriage. It's an arrangement, like. I don't, for some, these people are married, but for some, they're not. I feel like this man was separated from this woman and maybe even not living with her. This woman has done something because she wants it to look like they are a family. She wants it to look like she's, she's putting down roots with somebody. It says one's housing and comfort. This woman has done magic so that this man will move in with her. She, I'm telling you, she's desperate. She will do anything for this man. I'm hearing she will spend whatever, she will go wherever. She does not care. I just saw um, having receipts. Some of you, if you were dealing with somebody and things were going well and they stopped talking to you, it's because someone discovered something in their phone. I feel like it's a, a mask man here who's going through a lot behind the scenes with a really, really wicked karmic person. You don't know about it. Because you may look at it like somebody just ghosted you or the situation changed or whatever. I feel like for some of you, somebody purposely could have done something to you so that the two of you would kind of break away because they know that somebody is obsessed and crazy. It says here their relationship involves constant fighting on thin ice with each other, but trying to maintain the relationship. The first house, first house, fourth house, seventh house. This person is into astrology and does magic. This person is using your natal chart to do a lot of spell work and manipulation. 
this person is studying your natal chart. They want to know everything about you. This here says talking good shit. People like what you got going on, but they're talking about your achievement and accolades. I think that this is someone that wants people to see them as someone with a lot of achievements and accolades, but they're they're using the energy of somebody else to manifest things. Salty. Yeah, this person is salty. <laughs> Mad and upset. Now, okay, look, you have here distorted masculine copying your style, having re receipts and spirituality hater. Wow. So for some of you, this is the masculine doing this. Wow, that took a turn. I mean, these are just cards. I'm picking the energy that I'm picking up. I, I read here, but I did say in the beginning, for some of you, this is a distorted masculine that is purposely giving your energy to somebody else because they refuse to do the work with you. So they could be trying to gang up with this karmic, which kind of goes back to like one of the very first channel messages I ever did where I said, some of you have like a false twin and they are, they're teaming up with the karmic and they're both doing magic on you. This is a distorted masculine here. It says abuse of power. Force and domination, fear of weakness, competition, driven, inability to praise another, spirituality hater. So now, major plot twist here. Take the story how it resonates. For some of you, you have a masculine that's doing this. And this masculine could be extremely religious. They could be a spirituality hater. They don't like the fact that you're spiritual. And this person is keeping tabs on you. They they watch everything that you're doing. They like how you walk, talk, dress, how you look and everything. And I don't know. To me, this this almost now, just looking at the energy, it's almost karma. Karma will, will solve this. Because someone is trying to sabotage your confidence. For some of you, um, just to recap, this is a karmic feminine that has a, a man under some type of magic who is trying to be you because she wants to keep this man because it is possibly your divine counterpart. But for some of you, you have a masculine that you've turned down. They are a distorted masculine, okay? They don't like the fact that you're spiritual and that you recognize that they're distorted. Therefore, they are helping a karmic um, to do things. This is also that same energy that I picked up on. This is a kind of distorted masculine that's talking about all of the accomplishments that you've made. And they're trying to make a karmic jealous. And because of that, the karmic has become obsessed with you and is now trying to compete with you and actually be you. Y'all, this is a lot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Slacker. Yeah. Ex-lover. Stressed. Yeah, so, so for some of you, it was someone that you were dealing with in the past. This person, they're not doing any work. They're, they're a slacker. And they they could be dealing with a feminine who is stressed out. And like I said, this feminine, she may not even necessarily be karmic. This person, they're, this masculine, this distorted masculine could be making her come off as karmic now. Because she may be trying to hold things together. And this masculine is telling this per other person about the divine feminine. And it's causing her to be stressed. But still, it's like, why would you sit around and let somebody talk to you about another person? And let that stress you out. That's what I don't understand. Like, this is just a lot of distorted energy. So for some of you, it's a lot of different. Just It's a distorted feminine and masculine. But you have divination spying. Someone is using tarot to get information on you. And someone here is very irresponsible. They lack accountability. They don't care about the consequences of their actions. Look at that witchcraft came out. I'm telling you, there it is. Somebody here... I just cut the deck with distorted feminine. You have a distorted feminine and a distorted masculine out here. But you have distorted feminine crying over someone. Legal issues, bad contracts, mental prison, and stalking. Yep. So it's a lot of different storylines, you guys. Take it. Take what resonates. Um, This could be a distorted feminine, though. She is upset about a situation with a masculine, and she's stalking you. She's in a mental imprisonment at this point. She's stalking because... There could be legal issues going on with this masculine. And she does not want this person to leave her. This could be a divorce, a separation. They could have a lease together, situation with kids, child support, something. She 
she does not want this man to leave. She, she does not want to be rejected. And I feel like the rejection has already happened. But she, it has, like, made her go into a rage. Like, she's gone. She's lost it. But this is not all her fault. For some, this masculine, there's a masculine out here that is distorted. And there, is, I mean, like I said, it's several different, it's like five different storylines I'm getting here. For some, there's a distorted masculine who has purposely been manipulating a feminine by throwing up in the feminine space that he, that he has and he has now met a divine feminine who practices a lot of self love, and he's hooked on this person, and there's evidence of it. So he's going out telling this other woman, you know, I'm I'm in love with somebody else, and that other person can do this, they can do that, you know. And this person, this other feminine, she's went out and looked up the divine feminine and now she's obsessed. She's obsessed because she lacks self-love and because she wants to win over the heart of this masculine. But this distorted masculine, it's a win-win for him because he gets to now be with a karmic or just, I'm just going to say a distorted feminine who now is is jumping through Cheerios to try to be the divine feminine. So on a soul level, he doesn't have to do any work to earn her, but he gets to enjoy the appearance of a divine feminine. So this could be now you have a distorted feminine. She's trying to keep up the house and dress and walk and talk and be divine. Maybe she's trying to read tarot or be spiritual. She's trying to do everything because she wants to keep this man. This is the, this is that distorted, narcissistic type of energy, though. This is gaslighting somebody. This is a lot of mind games. But then, like I said, for some of you, that's not the case. For some of you, you have a masculine who is divine, who does not know, didn't know that he was dealing with a, a, a devil. Therefore, he's never protecting himself and he's really, really under heavy witchcraft and manipulation. I feel like this masculine, he left this person, this distorted feminine behind, and she lured him back in with some type of magic. And she knows that he left because he was focusing on himself. But he she also knows that he wants to be a but he wanted to become more divine for the sake of a divine union. She noticed a change in this man. And when she noticed that that change was taking place, she knew it had to be. She found Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine is not in this energy, though. So, again, these are people who are watching you and stalking you. Physically and spiritually stalking you. You don't know. You, there's a lot that you don't know about these people. They, they're, they're studying everything about you. Everything. Because the masculine wants to be with you and the feminine... The, the distorted feminine is feeling ignored by the masculine. So she now has decided that she's going to become you. Wow. You guys, this could be past, present, or future. It just may give you some, some clarity. Look, when I cut the deck I have here, um, bystander, <laughs> it says sitting back and watching it all happen, not standing up for someone being hurt or abused. I don't think that this has anything to do with not standing up, but I feel like you're just an innocent bystander. Yeah, you're gorgeous. And somebody is daydreaming of you and in regret. Someone here could be at a distance. Yeah. Somebody feels like you're a heartbreaker or I don't know. Somebody is divine feminine. Be careful because you have a lot of stalkers right now. But whoever this copycat energy is, you guys, this is someone who is housing an actual demon of some sort. And to me, that's pretty, that's dangerous. I, like I said, the energy is not, yeah, look at this, stalker. This person is watching and monitoring you. This person definitely could be watching your money. This person's family could be watching you. This person could be someone who has a wealthy family. They're watching you though, because you have to think about it. I'm hearing like, um, I'm hearing Princess Diana. This could be someone here who, like I said, 
This is not a feminine that's busted and disgusted. I feel like she she has things together in life. She does. Okay? But I feel like she can easily put a call out to, to send something to attack you. She may know, yeah, she she knows how what to do to keep this man bound. So he's confused because she wants his offer. This right here to me, you guys, it keeps getting deeper and deeper. I'm, I'll be here all day. It's getting really deep because this has something to do. This other person, for some of you, this person is very spiritual, but dark. This has something to do with money, with bloodlines. Um, and family. Somebody here, and, and again, with a very religious thing here, this almost seems like some type of arrangement. This person wants to keep something in the family, or they want something to look a certain way. This could have something to do with religious beliefs, cultural things, or something like that. Somebody is determined to keep somebody in, like, in their, I'm here, in their possession, like, in their family. Or somebody wants to marry into a certain family, or something like that. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to, to marry into a certain family or they want someone to be a part of their family or somebody, I'm hearing specifically someone wants to have kids with someone. This has something to do with like somebody's DNA or something. It goes really, really deep. Like um, it, it goes really deep. This is not, and it's, it's very spiritual. Like I said, it's, you see the 3D, but the 5D, somebody is trying to get somebody in their family. Or somebody is trying to be a part of a family. This is someone trying to balance something out karmically or, or have a child with somebody or something. Like somebody knows that through the birth of a child or the establishment of a business or something that someone is going to be... Somebody knows a person's destiny, okay? That's what this is. Someone knows someone's... Somebody knows that whoever they're dealing with is destined to be a star destined to be a, a healer, a leader, or something. It doesn't matter what's happening right now. Somebody wants to make sure that they are in the contract with this person when they go into this new cycle. And therefore, they're willing to do anything to be with this person. This could be somebody right now who does not have much. This could be a masculine right now who doesn't have much. But somebody has looked into his life and they know he's destined to be a millionaire in the next two years. This this distorted feminine, she's not going to let this masculine go because she's like, when he comes up, I, I have to be the one that he's with. Somebody definitely could have tried to trap someone with a child or they're trying to now. Someone is trying to trap a person with something right now because they want to be a part of their destiny. And they know that they're not this person's chosen. Like, they're, they weren't chosen for this person. So now they're attacking the true divine feminine. And these are heavy attacks. Heavy. Yeah, message of concern. This person is concerned because they're like, wait a minute. This man done discovered his, his real person? Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She went to work. She went to work on this connection. Because when she realized that this man was thinking about somebody else, she was like, wait a minute. I got I to gotta fix that. I got to break that up. And it's all about this contract courthouse it's a contract this man somebody here is receiving something possibly at a distance look you have pathway and distant horizons somebody already knows this woman is working with this man because she knows that there is something coming in the future and at a distance this man could come from money or she knows that he's going to be a part of some type of um money or a community here yeah toil and labor she already this woman knows something about this man's destiny and she's determined to have him in her life. And I'm getting for some of you, yeah, the lovers. For some of you, this could have already happened. This may just give you a bit of clarity, but you still need to cleanse and, and clear your energy because this person is still trying to use your energy, which has been coming out a lot. The lovers. The lover speaks to someone having a choice. Yeah. Poverty here and message. House. Somebody, if they don't have your energy, they're going to lose everything. Somebody also, let me tell you something too. Because heavy, heavy emphasis on a person can look like they're in poverty here in the 3D, but be 
rich spiritually. Somebody has been harvested for the storyline of a of karmic woman. This woman, and, and I'm hearing her family, they've been harvesting the energy off of a masculine. This masculine could be struggling right now, and he doesn't know why. They're taking all of his energy, and now that he has met his divine feminine, they're now trying to steal the divine feminine's energy too, y'all. This is deep. This is, I mean, this story has been coming out a lot, though. I think we're just getting more pieces of it. Yeah, somebody knows. That whoever this man chooses to marry, it's something about his contract of marriage. The woman will become instantly wealthy. She will become a privileged lady because it's something this man will receive a gift from God. He is a person of high honor. Whoever he chooses as his mate, he will become wealthy with this person. And that person will become wealthy. This is a true divine master for some of you. And this man is being completely sabotaged by somebody with magic and manipulation. This is ending though. The coffin card is here. Judication, it has already, yeah, unexpected income. Somebody here is going to receive an unexpected message or some tip. You can expect this. For the true divine feminines here that this is your story, yeah, you can expect to be, <laughs> you can expect a message of concern about a journey with a wealthy man and a child and how this man has been robbed, possibly from his family. This man's family has tried to cut him out of something and he's been in despair. This almost feels like I said, um, cause I mean, Princess Diana, that made me think of like a royal family. This man's family could be trying to make him be with a particular person. Like his mother, could be trying to force him to be in a connection with someone for her own personal gain. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this, this masculine's family is in on this. His mother or someone in his family knows that he's destined to have something. They want him to have a certain type of person in his life. So again, like an arranged marriage for some. This has something to do with cultures or People are thinking about a royal DNA or something. This person, this family also may want this masculine to marry someone that is not as highly um, ranked as him spiritually. Oh, this person's family doesn't want them to marry somebody who is of the light because they want to continue to manipulate this man. Dang. Oh my goodness. This that's what it is. This is could be a man who takes care of his family or they know that in the future when these blessings come that they will all have a very privileged life because of this man. They don't want him to marry I'll say like a divine feminine, a high priestess. Because she would know everything that is happening in this family behind the scenes and how they are destroying this man and, and most likely stealing from him. They would rather he marry somebody who looks a certain way, but is a soulless being. This, is, this man is being sacrificed by his own family for wealth. This is really sad. This is really sad. Because this this man that I'm picking up on, I mean, I know there's a lot of storylines, but the energy that I'm connecting with right now is a man who is completely oblivious. And he truly loves these people. He has no idea what they're doing to him.